on the inside. You can whisper behind my back. You can show me right, how the odds are up against uh, me all day long. But I've been through the fire and come out alive, and there's no more fear in my eyes. Hey guys, Nate here at Rebel Liners again with a real quick tip on crapper hose. This Wolfpack 36516, one of my biggest complaints are. It has a small pipe underneath the camper, if you're not familiar. I've measured it five times, I remember the measurement, but it's only about this big. You're lucky to fit one crapper hose in it. With this rig, we know there's two crappers. That's a lot of hose that you're dragging around. I have found myself buying a tote, okay? And it is a process in itself to get the crapper hose clean. You've camped for two weeks, you camp for a week, you camp for a weekend. Family didn't listen. They still wanted to use the crapper. Now you got to use your crapper hoses, and then you got to clean them. And we know they always don't get clean as they need to get clean. So this rig, in my opinion, because it has a generator in it, is short on storage on the outside is one of my complaints. So I find myself with this heavy-duty Husky box jammed, packed with my crapper hose and stuff in it. With this little bad boy here, that's already under there, but twice the size, we're gonna talk about, I should be able to either do two of these, maybe I'll lock out and only have to do one of these, I don't know yet. But get my crapper hose in the pipe like it should be, underneath the camper, get a box a quarter of the size of this for the fittings, and save myself a whole lot of room in my storage compartments outside. The reason why I chose this Volterra adjustable easy hose carrier and you heard me adjustable so i was originally out here screwing around and measuring from this bad boy adjustable from 50 inches to 94 inches we know that our camper rails on this wolfpack 365 is 72 inches it's all it's going to do is take self tappers just like the existing one the little baby one that they mounted on there apparently they couldn't do something a little better um, self tappers through the frame and we'll have a full 72 inch length that we could store and we could put another one next to it, maybe even pull the small one out and put two big ones, depending on how it's going to fit in there. I haven't looked and measured yet. Maybe we fit two big ones and keep the small one, and the small one will keep all the little parts in it and figure out a way to put a rope on the end and pull it out. I don't know. But I'm pretty stoked about getting this installed on there because I think it's going to make a big difference. And there's nothing like dealing with your crapper hose and a tote. Open this up on a 90-degree day after it sat in here for a week. You're going to know it. So... Um, I'm going to give this a shot and hopefully this longer one will do me better. As always, I'll list uh, down below the part number um, for this. Uh, you get them in black or white and um, we'll, we'll see how this goes by uh, Vol Volterra. So it's kind of dark under the sea, but it's going to be fine in real estate. I think I'll be able to put one right here next to the existing short guy that's there. And with the stairs on the other side, I'm going to have to look, but I think I might be able to put a big one on the other side of it. Right now, I only bought one just to see how it's going to go. I'm not sure if you can see from the manufacturer, but all they did was just run big old self-tappers um, right, right through them, right through the frame. And, this possibly, and, and it's the same company that made it. There's the name on it right there, Volterra. So they put a short guy there and they mounted it in the middle. We're gonna try to go frame to frame with this thing. See if we can make this a little bit better. All right, this is on the door side. And there it is. It went in really nice, guys, and really easy. I mean, the self tappers went in super easy. I ran it right next to the short one, as you can see. And we got a nice full length in there. What I really like is you can get to each side of it so we should be able to shove a lot of crapper pipe in there. Came out great. So I did decide to add the second one. The one only fits one. Uh, it's a double bathroom unit. This Wolfpack 36516. Interestingly enough, the second one that came, same exact box and everything, had more hardware. So these are built on each end, plastic welded on. That's how I mounted the other one. With one center support that it just kind of, I really didn't know what it was meant to do because it just kind of sits in it. Interestingly enough, it came with two. Um, you could put a band strap through it 
and put another center support in. So I may add one to the one I put on and one to the one I'm about to put on. But it did not come with all those parts um, on the last one. I just think it's odd. And this one it did. So kind of neat. And I designed it with two of them anyhow. So I'll have plenty enough to do it. We're going to go get the second one on. All right, guys, we've got two installed. The second one that I put in, I actually went in the inside of the lip instead of the outside of the lip like the other ones on the, if you want to call it the passenger side. The reason for it is, is I plan on doing the step upgrade on this. It's going to get an undercarriage box in there, and I didn't want it hitting it. The other one's way out of the way over there. I didn't want it hitting it, so I was just kind of a, kind of a pregame. But uh, this is what it looks like. Um, underneath, there's the short one from the manufacturer. And then we got our two big ones. I did do one of the center supports to show you what it looks like. The big band clamp that goes through it. Um, I am into something there. Obviously, you want to know what's above this material and not just screw into it. Um, but I'm good on that one. And this one, I didn't do one because the ceiling actually raises a little bit. I'm not able to get in there. But it's solid. I mean, that ain't going nowhere. So I'll show you what it looks like um, outside here in a second. All right, so there's our final product. And we did leave the short one there. I suppose I could have pulled it off, put them close together, but one more place for a little bit of storage. With crapper parts, never hurts. Um, the middle one from the factory does have a different kind of twist knob on it. But um, lo and behold, I mean, honestly, it ain't too bad, guys. Um, I'm pretty happy with it. So all you gotta do is twist it, and you can uh, open them up. As you see, and I got my one pipe in there already from doing it the other day. And we'll have our new one. We'll now be able to get all our pipe up and out of the way. I'll give you a quick look at the other side. Again, I plan to do a step upgrade here. Um, I'll have a video hopefully on it soon. But the one furthest to the back I did put in a little bit further. Because I plan on doing that under storage box that replaces this. But there it is. Uh, end results, we're going to get all our pipe in there, and I'm going to gain storage room in the front of the camper and get all the smelly stuff outside where it belongs. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit subscribe down below. You'll see the part numbers and everything down there, but please hit subscribe. It really helps me a lot. Um, we need to build that up a little bit. So thanks again, Nate Rebel Liners.